and welcome to another Oxygen tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to create a structure entirely from scratch in Oxview. And I'm going to use the same structure as Eric created in his excellent uh, VHelix tutorial, namely this double-stranded DNA rotexing by the family group. Um, and to do this, I'm going to first load the same reference image that Eric uh, adapted from uh, the supplementary information. Uh, where we can see this spherical stopper rotexane um, with the two spheres at either, either end uh, and the lengths of the sequences uh, that should be there. And in order to create something from scratch you just basically use this create button uh, and type a sequence. Of course if you want to do it accurately you should look up the proper sequences um, but since OxDNA doesn't really care about sequence dependence unless you tell it to and since this is just an approximation, I will just type lots of T's <laughs> to begin with. Uh, you can use any letter you want. Um, so let's just make sure this is 84 uh, for the spheres. Something like that. Click duplex mode and create. And then we'll have this helix created. If I then go to view and apply centering, it will uh, pop to the center. And I can then look it from the side and copy the whole thing because we need four of them. So Control A, Control C, and Control Shift V. The shift will make sure it is uh, at the same place as the original helix uh, and not just placed in front of the camera. Then I can move this one out for a bit, uh, apply centering again. Uh, and to make it slightly easier to um, to actually um, to connect everything up, I will rotate it 90 degrees as well, but that's not strictly necessary. And then I will copy both of these and rotate them 90 degrees. If you hold down shift while rotating, it will snap to uh, like 30, 90 degrees. Uh, 180. That that is a very nice um, thing to use. Otherwise, it's more eyeballing it. So um, I'm going to select each monomer. Uh, no, wait. We should be on edit. Uh, turn off this translation and rotation. Uh, and then you can see here that um, backbones kind of have a conical shape uh, that points in a certain direction. So this one is going down, this one is coming up, uh, and that is the three prime, five prime direction uh, that is moving. So this would be five, five prime uh, and three prime. Uh, so it goes the same way as DNA do, does. Uh, so we don't need to connect them appropriately. Uh, so this one is coming up, and then we connect this to this one going down. And then we continue in the this, uh, same way, this one connected to this one, this one, to that, and finally these two. Uh, and with this side connected up, we'll just go to the other side using a numpad to rotate, um, and then we go the other direction. So this one connects here, this one connects here, there. And there. Uh, and then we have the whole sphere connected. Uh, but of course, if you actually want to design something like this, you should probably double check and make sure everything is connected. Um, I'm just doing this very uh, approximately. So we'll move this to the side and then uh, copy it. Control Shift V and we'll have two of them. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is this 100 nucleotide helix uh, as the rail. So we'll need a few more nucleotides here. Uh, let's just make sure it goes up to 100 and create. And then you can select this one in lots of different ways. But the easiest thing here would actually be to uh, go to select and cluster uh, everything. So it will just take everything by distance uh, and make that its own cluster. So if they are separated in distance, they will be separate clusters. Uh, so we get one cluster for each helix here, uh, and then if you select by cluster, it will be a lot easier to move things around. So we translate this one uh, and try to get it to 
at the proper position. About there. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Let's have it a little bit more centered. And then we can go and zoom in. Uh, now I want to select by monomer instead. So I want to make a mix somewhere around here. Uh, so we go to edit and mix. And then I can connect this one to this side. And this one to that side. As you can see, they cross. That doesn't really matter because that will be relaxed in Obstin A. But if you want to make it look a little better, uh, we can select this whole cluster and rotate it. Uh, and then everything will be slightly more aligned. And I'll go back to monomer selection. Uh, and press up our view. Let's zoom in on this other side uh, and decide where to make our neck. I suppose uh, we can eyeball it to be somewhere around here. So make a neck and we make a ligation. It should be this one. And the same thing here. Okay, so that's connected up. And now the only thing that is missing is this actual sphere. Uh, that should be the rotating part. And we will make that 126 bases. So let's make this slightly longer, not that long. Uh, and create a new helix. Uh, once again, I'll do a clustering to uh, to make sure everything is easier to select. Uh, select by cluster, and then I'll take this one and drag to its approximate position. Oh, um, yeah, I did it a little. When I created it, the camera wasn't really centered, so it will be a bit odd, uh, but that doesn't really matter. You can see it's not aligned. I just rotate it a bit. There we go. Uh, but mainly, I want to rotate it like this. Okay, um, so go for the center and use box selection this time to just bend it around. So I guess somewhere, somewhere like that would be a third. Um, and then I can take this part. this part and bend it by rotating. Placing it somewhere there. And try to make a triangle, basically. Uh, and then since we're doing the box selection, let's take this part and also rotate, translate, and then go back to monomer selection. So now we have a triangle around everything, and then it's just a matter of um, connecting everything up. So I'll go and view everything by strand again, and then we'll have this one. Um, that should connect over here. So we go to edit and ligate, and then connect these two together as well. Um, so that's more or less it. You can see there is a gap over here. Uh, you can create such a gap by just selecting a few nucleotides and um, pressing delete um, on your keyboard, and then those are gone. Uh, you can also do delete here. But other than that, it's up for relaxation, relaxation in, um, in OxDNA. Um, if you have the dynamics connected, you could do it um, already in the browser, uh, as detailed in another video. But thanks for tuning in, and uh, hope this helps. Cheers.